Right, today we're talking about the Hollyland Lark M2 and the DJI Mic 2. We are going to compare them together, talking head, ASMR, outside, loud, ambience, and you're going to be able to hear what they sound like and if there is any difference between these, because the DJI Mic 2 is almost three times as expensive as the Lark M2. The Lark M2 is a tiny, tiny system. Look at this thing. Look at it, it's tiny. You basically have a magnet, you put it on here and boom, you are away, you're recording. You have a magnet with a clip inside the actual box as well if you need to clip it. And you get two microphones and a bass unit. Now the bass unit is really simple, it's gone on and off. USB-C has stereo mono and it's got little LED lights with a little wheel that shows you gain. On the side you have the 3.5 millimeter jack and the little clip doubles as a cold shoe attachment. It all charges inside the case, which is nice, simple, and it's got USB-C at the back with little, you know, LEDs at the front for them, telling you how much power is inside, much like the DJI Mic 2. DJI Mic 2 is a much larger system, and it has a lot more features. Do you need those features? Well, 32-bit float. Used it once. Don't really ever use it. I know it will come in handy for a lot of people. Two microphones. Say you're on a motorbike and you want one Next to the tailpipe, you want one here, and you're using 32-bit flow, and you've got different levels on them. Absolutely fantastic, fully understand that. You could still do that with the DJI Mic 1, which a lot of people have been doing. If you just want the Bluetooth connectivity, just buy one of these for $99, and you will be fine, you really will. It's a nice system, but it doesn't work with all the lav mics I have, which is a shame, because I had to pick up the DJI lav mic for, I don't know, 40 euros, it has a little bit of a thicker cable, which actually goes in that little hole and it sticks in there. But the Rode Wireless Pro has a screw one. So if you're working with talent or actors, go with the Rode Wireless Pro for, you know, peace of mind. It works with magnets as well, so basically just stick it on here like that and you're away. It's a nice, simple system and it's got a lot of bells and whistles. It comes with a USB-C and a lightning connector if you want to connect it to your phone. The DJI Mic 2 offers a lot more. The Hollyland, I've worked with Hollyland for a while. I do have the Lark 150 right here, which is a system that I've used for quite a while. I don't remember the date when I got this, but the um, the actual, this, this is dead. I don't know if you guys can see it flashing, but the actual main base unit is completely dead. So, I'm a little worried about the reliability. It's It's been a while since, you know, these two microphone systems, but this one is basically, I can put it in the bin. Also, the internal recording on the DJI Mic 2 is great, because if you do lose audio or connection with your camera, you can just pull off the audio from the actual microphone, and you're still good to go. Now, we're gonna start off with Talking Head when it comes to comparisons, and then we're gonna do the rest of them. You guys can, you know, Listen and decide for yourself which one sounds better and which one you'd prefer to, you know, buy. If you just want the simple, you know, Lark M2 system, which is which is really fantastic, it is. Or if you want the bells and whistles with DJI Mic 2. Or if you want something a little bit more pro, like the Rode Wireless Pro, then you can go for that. Let's start with Talking Head. So, the sun has come out outside and it is getting pretty bright out there. I'm sure that white is well over 100, do I care? Not not really at this moment in time, we're just doing the sound. Right now you are listening to, that's right, the Hollyland Lark M2. I normally use a Rode microphone, which is right up there, it's a tiny little shotgun microphone, it's what I use for all my videos, and it's quite a distance away actually, it's about 40 centimeters away from my mouth, It's, but it sounds good and this room has no, you know, stuff on the walls. It's basically a big echoey room, which is a problem. And this is what this microphone sounds like in a room like this compared to what you were hearing before with the Rode. Now we're going to switch over to DJI Mic 2 and you're going to hear what that sounds like. So now you're listening to the DJI Mic 2 and they're on exactly the same settings. Nothing has changed. I like, I just like how small the Lark M2 is. Look at this. It's, it's, it's so tiny compared to DJI Mic 2. Now, DJI Mic 2 is, it's a nice system. I think it might have been released a little bit early before they really polished it up. But um, there are a lot of, you know, updates they can carry on doing. Rode continuously updates their microphone systems, which is great. 
And I know that DJI is also very good at updating their stuff. I don't know if they can fix the lav mic problem and sometimes I do have cutouts with this system. Um, hence the reason why I'm probably gonna be sending DJI Mic 2 back. The Lark M2, I don't know. I need to work with it a little bit more to see if I'm gonna keep it or not. But this is what the DJI Mic 2 sounds like. So at the end of the day, the most important thing is the sound. So we're listening to my voice to see what's going on. And in a minute, we're gonna go outside, we're gonna do distance tests, we're gonna do ambience. We are gonna do, you know, a spinning around, seeing if it cuts out, if it doesn't have line of sight, and you guys can really decide which one of these is worth picking up. And there will be affiliate links all down below in case you do need to pick them up. Let's go outside. So I'm outside, it is a very positive day. There are almost no clouds in the sky. And it is what, the 30th of January, 2024? I feel like spring is coming and normally this place is overrun with snow. Right now, as you can see, this tiny, tiny little button here. This is the Hollyland Lark M2 and this is what it sounds like. It's, um, it's not too windy, there's a little bit of wind, but not too much. And um, I have it on the gain, I think, of two out of three and the Sony is on ten. And this is what it sounds like with me talking completely normally. I've listened to it over the last day, because I've only had it a day, and um, I've got to tell you, it sounds really, really nice, and I just love the size of it. I love that you get stickers that you can put on, and it can be completely inconspicuous. And if you have a bride, say she's wearing white, you can put a white sticker on. Those are pretty cool things. If you have kids, you can put on a smiley face or stuff. I don't know if anybody's going to use that. Um, but the black and white sticker is absolutely fantastic that you can, you know, clean the logo up and you can't see the logo. Like with DJI, it's a big fat logo screaming, hey, this is DJI. You don't need that. But there is a massive, massive minus to this in that is that you cannot plug a 3.5 millimeter jack in there to have a lavalier microphone. Now I can see there is a bit of wind. I can feel the wind. So this is what it sounds like with the wind. And if I press this little button, it should now be on noise cancelling. Let me check. Yep, there's a green light. I can't see the um, the actual base unit, but this is now with noise cancelling. So I'm not a fan of noise cancelling. It may be cool if you have a really, really tight workflow, you need to get stuff out really quickly. The DJI Mic 2 has noise cancelling and it sounds horrible. I really don't like it. I prefer to have the clean audio that we can put into our editing program and then play with it. So, you know, in there we can choose if we want it and we don't have it baked in. So I wouldn't use noise cancelling normally, so I will turn it off. Back to blue. I'm going to do a distance test now. So I'm going to walk back and you're going to see what this sounds like. So this is a comfortable distance and it is pretty windy. I especially do not have the wind muff on because I didn't bring it. <laughs> but you can hear what it sounds like with a light piece of wind. That was English. And I'm going to turn around and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of them do cut out when they do not have a clear line of sight. So if your body's blocking it, it will usually cut out. And that happens with most microphones. You know, it's rare that you're going to be standing backwards to the camera unless, you know, you're, you're, you're a radio face. But, you know, it, it, let's walk back further. So I'm at the bin and this is a fair distance. This is a lot further than I think anybody actually goes with their wireless microphone system. One, you probably don't want somebody standing on camera and two, it's just, it's not needed. Let's turn around and do the counting test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now there is a lot of interference here. There is a lot of Wi-Fi. Let's do this whole test with the DJI Mic 2 now. So now I have the DJI Mic 2 on, and there are obviously a lot of advantages to the DJI Mic 2, except the price, because it's a lot more expensive. Now you can plug in a lavalier mic, which is really good, and it has 
a little clip straight away. So you don't have to attach the magnet and the clip like you do with the Lark M2. Another thing is it has internal recording. So if your audio does cut out somewhere, it's gonna record onto the actual microphone right here. And if you lose it, you could just pull it off the microphone, which is really, really great. You also have Bluetooth connections, so you can connect it wirelessly without the whole base unit, anything. You can buy it for $99 and connect it to the DJI Action 4, the Ace Pro in a future update very soon, and you can connect it to the Pocket 3 with even two microphones, which is really great. Now, once again, there is a light breeze, a piece of wind, <laughs> and um, we're going to walk back and do the test. Now, don't get me wrong, I do really like the DJI system. DJI Mic is no doubt one of my favorite systems out there. The Mic 2 has a lot of problems I've noticed. I can't plug in a lot of lav mics. I ordered the DJI one just to make sure that I can, you know, use a lav mic with it, but I'm gonna have to use the DJI one. It's not a professional lav mic, right? And I have had cutouts, so that's a little bit annoying, but I can get the audio back from the actual, you know, internal memory. So anyway, let's walk back and do the test. So about here is good. This is where I was standing with the Lark M2. And um, I'm gonna spin around and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna go back and you're gonna see if it works back there. Now I have already listened just out of interest to the Lark M2 and I heard that it didn't actually cut out when I did the spinning counting test either here or next to the bin over there. So that's, um, that's pretty impressive Hollyland. Right, I am back here next to the bin, and like I did state, I do have confirmation from Insta360 that the DJI Mic 2 will be compatible with the Ace Pro again. They just have to make an update so that it works. It did work with the Insta360 X3 as well, wirelessly, so that's pretty cool. And it will work with a whole variety of different, you know, devices. Obviously, the sound quality isn't as good as if you would connect it like I'm connecting it now, but it does work. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and there is one more thing that I have to do, which I've completely forgotten about. <coughs> Sorry, and that is the noise reduction. I did mention that I do hate noise reduction on microphones. I prefer to do everything in post. So if I do press it, we now have noise reduction. And do I sound like a robot or not? <laughs> it. It's annoying baking things like that in. That's why I don't like baking things in in camera because later on we can actually, you know, play around. Am I sharp? I am sharp. We can um, play around with it in post and, you know, add noise reduction if we want to. Add a certain amount of noise reduction. We don't have to go 100%. We can add a certain amount and you will not sound like a robot or make funny noises and you won't have any weird distortion because wind reduction does, you know, make distortion depending on the wind. And this is what I sound like without the um, noise reduction. But it is cool that on both microphones you can turn it on if you feel a light breeze or a piece of wind like I do right now. Anyway, let's go next to the street and let's see what these sound like in a noisy environment. So this is what the Lark M2 sounds like on a busy street. There is a lot of noise here. Cars going by, buses going by. There is a building getting destroyed right next to me. And if I turn on, noise reduction, it's uh, now turned on. I, I'm looking at the, the actual microphone because I can't see the base unit. It's a little bit too bright in the sun. But this is what it sounds like with the noise reduction on right now. And there are cars coming by. Pie? There are pies coming by. Um, so this is what my voice sounds like with it on. If I turn it back off, then this is me once again with the Lark M2 and building getting destroyed, cars coming past. It's pretty noisy. Let's try the um, DJI Mic 2 in this situation. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Right, once again, busy street with the DJI Mic 2. That's a bus. Um, this building 
is there's a big digger right there already taking it apart this is what it sounds like with cars coming past people walking past a lot of noise i think they're both pretty comparable when it comes to what it sounds like outside once again the noise reduction is the bit where they both fall apart and i would not turn it on no matter what's going on i would really prefer to just change it all in post like i've said a hundred times and if we do turn on the noise reduction there we go a little yellow light comes on here from the green light but on the lark it's green from blue so this is what it now sounds like with noise reduction am i talking in a robot voice <laughs> People may be walking past looking funny at me, but um, I don't care. It's it's so sunny. It's so positive today. I don't give a rat's ass. I'm actually just happy being out here doing what I want to do. Now, what I'm going to do now is let you guys hear some ambience. Maybe watch that digger already take some stuff down. Let's do ambience with the mic too now. Right, so we're now back in the studio and I'm doing a little bit of voiceover with the Lark M2. I'm controlling my levels on the actual Sony A7S III. In fact, all of this has been filmed on the Sony A7S III, which is a camera that I use very rarely nowadays because I'm mainly using the Sony ZV-E1, which is basically the Sony A7S III with a few extra AI features. <clears throat> Let's um, try a bit of ASMR. This morning, I woke up and the sun was shining out the window. It was amazing. I felt like winter had finally finished, but it was just getting started. Maybe it was a dream. Maybe. Maybe it wasn't. I love it when spring comes because I know I'm going to be able to wear my pink shorts very soon. So right now we have the DJI Mic 2 and it's a great system. It does miss the screw in lavalier, lavalier, lavalier microphone that the Rode Wireless Pro has. And it does also not come with a lav mic which it should do because it doesn't work with a lot of professional lav mics that I have so I have ordered the lav mic from DJI and I'm gonna have to use that so it works the best I guess but I guess that the lav mic from DJI is not as professional as the Shure or the Rode lav mic which is a shame the TRRS has been taken away from this, I believe, and it only works with TRS, which is a shame because the mic one did work with both. Now we're going to try a little bit of ASMR. <clears throat> so, at the moment, when I walk into a shop and I see little Hot Wheel cars, I search through them like a little kid. And I think it's because I am a little kid and I'm also trying to find Hot Wheel cars for my son. He loves Hot Wheel cars. He's not a massive fan of the Matchbox ones, but the Hot Wheel cars he absolutely adores. I have quite a few I'm looking at right now, but um, I don't allow him to play with them because they're premium Hot Wheel cars.